Welcome back, everybody. We found Vaskell's office, so I'm not going to waste too much time here. We're just going in. Seems clear. We almost found Hamilton in time. Old note from Dr. Hypatia. Vasco, today was exhausting. I expect the flood of patients will be unabated tomorrow, well into the foreseeable future. It would be most helpful to me if you set up a triage area. Send me only the most urgent cases, especially issues of severe bronchial distress, black spittle, festering wounds, or pediatric cases with coughing or serious injuries. These I must see right away. For the rest, could you please handle them personally? I trust your skills is equal to my own. Alas, I fear we will miss the little half day off we discuss next month for certain. Alexandria. Huh. So I think we've seen other references to her and Vasco being uh, together. A couple of things here, things to buy, the diary, and hopefully something that leads to, I guess, this safe combination. Hold on. Ah, we can get in from this side. All right. Things to buy. Fourth day of Earth, 1851. Sorry to have to send you out again so soon, but I won't be able to proceed until I have the following. Large tin of powdered sea salt, compounding grease, rubbing distillates, glycerin, two vials of juniper, two vials of rose. I know the rose oil is expensive, but it's the only thing for clearing the lungs of phlegm, so what can we do? Maybe we'll plant our own rose garden someday, no? Wish I could go fetch them myself. Yeah. Okay. Vasco's diary. Alexandria's new serum must never leave Adermeyer, and no one must ever know of our failure? Whoa. We tested it on ourselves, which we often do in fractional doses. The night was sheer horror. It's hard to describe the effects on the mind, the frenzy it induced. We were not ourselves. Alexandria muttered to herself, calling herself Grim Alex, almost as if she had a total shift in personality. I cannot commit to paper all that occurred, but I burn with shame remembering the way my perspective shifted as if my entire morality was upended. The following day, after recovering my senses, I felt better than I have in years. The serum might hold the keys to improved lung function and general vigor. It could even ameliorate the effects of some of our worst fevers and infections, but the costs are too high. The absolute loss of empathy, the unfettered appetites, and yet a week later, I watched Alexandria on the terrace below. She was in a terrible way disheveled, with words escaping her lips that were jumbled and wild, her movements were unfamiliar. In the morning, I asked if she tried the serum again. She was most alarmed, assuring me that she would never again touch a drop of it. She swears that only a sample remains, safely locked away for future study. That's probably just not true. It's probably just not true. Okay, is there anything in here that could have that code? Scrimshaw? If there is, I'm not seeing it, so... Vasco's lab key is needed. Perhaps that's where it's located. You know, you would think maybe the janitor would have keys to everywhere, so if we go up to his place... And I know where it is... Then that could work for us. Now, what's in here? Is there anything that I might need in here? I'm just trying to see if it's worth pushing through there. Like, what's that going to gain us? Nothing, really. It's just a shortcut, it seems. Alright. Let's head up top. There shouldn't be any guards. We've cleared out pretty much this entire area. Oh, mind you. Here we go. Let's do this. If we find another one, we'll take that out. I've already used all of our incendiary bolts, so... Uh, we have seen multiple places where these guys are playing cards and drinking, so... That could be good for us. I can imagine there's some out on that terrace there. We triggered a trap when we were up here as well. 
I don't know if... I don't think it would get reset, but... We did, it missed us, so that was nice. But Yeah, right here. There was a wire that we triggered. Let's be careful in case there's more traps. Shall we? Copper wire, more crossbows, mercury vapor distillation. We have been nowhere near one of those markets. There are so many skilled craftsmen across the empire. On orders from the Duke, anyone discussing Adamar with non authorized persons will be nice. court martialed and imprisoned. Pistols, pistols, pistols. Why does he have so many pistols? Wanted. Huh. Calling it out. Here's some rum I guess I could take back. Presumably there's something more important in here. Like his diary? This time I'm sure I saw it. I saw, well, I don't know what it, or who it was, but there was someone, some hooded creature, dragging some bloody thing along the corridor. I'm not sure whether its prey was another dog or one of the guards. I'm not sure which I'd prefer. Those bastards have been mocking me for months now, uh, saying that I'd lost it and that Dr. Hypatia should lock me up. Captain Ramirez said it's all in my head and that I'd better stop spreading rumors. Dr. Hypatia didn't say much when I first mentioned the half-devoured dog found in recuperation. Is she protecting someone? Dr. Vasco looks most suspicious to me. He hasn't even left recuperation for weeks now. Okay, so he's in recuperation. And last time I saw him, he was drawing some rotten blood from the body of the guard who got stung by death by blood flies. Oh. I'm no doctor, but I know that it, this is not part of the Adamar solution recipe that Dr. Hypatia invented. Anyways, if nobody will listen to me, I'll have to track the monster down myself. I'll set up some traps and keep watch every night until I find out what's going on here. Great. Now we have to find Vasco. So, uh, Hamilton thinks Vasco could be connected to Crown Killer. He observed Vasco conducting unconventional experiments in recuperation. Which we've already been into, however. Maybe it's worth another look. And I will actually... I'll take this because it's flammable. I'm seeing if there's anything else. You. The only thing is, I'm pretty sure that there's another floor. It's like, this is Hypatia's office, right? And Hypatia's office is on the fourth floor. We just went up to the fifth floor. But the sixth floor here, I don't think... I can access for whatever reason. Unless I've missed something. But. Fourth floor recuperation. Here we go. There's a bunch of rum here too, so. This is way better than sneaking around, that's for sure. The rune right in front of us. <laughs> Wonder how many times I walked past that. Oh my god. Okay, let's grab the uh, rat shadows now. For sure. Okay, so I wonder if I have to, like, do anything with that. I bet you I can just walk right through in that form. I'm sure that that's probably it. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So we've got to go around a little bit deeper. Blood Amber, hello.
I didn't think to check these things for monetary value. Okay, so he's like way in the back. I guess it all probably leads to her, right? this please don't tell me that you've gone crazy I have a really bad feeling about this oh he's here are you are you all right <laughs> dr. Hypatia did this no she's the crown killer but she's not herself. She d developed a serum trying to help the miners. The first version caused horrible changes to her mind. <clears throat> it's too late for me, but maybe you can still save her. How do I she's do that? A good person. What can I do? In my safe, in disease treatment, you'll figure out how to make the counter serum. Oh, please tell Help me how to get into your safe. The nice. safe code is 704. <clears throat> Whoa! Oh yeah, she's wild. Look at her. Play dead, play dead. This is not cool. He says keep alert, and I says I am alert. I've been alert. And he says <laughs> she's gone. What happened? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's obvious. Should have let me take the vice overseer. Shit. No. Duke's a coward. Oh, okay. There she is. Great. Randon personnel. Ship change is at midnight. Mr. So now she's trolling the area. Corrupt Bone Charm. This will be great, I'm sure. Uh, shivering Silhouette. Enemies miss more attacks with... Miss more often with range attacks, but we're more visible. Don't really want that. You did well finding Anton Sokolov, my friend. The old man is with Kieran Jindosh, who is prying him apart. Digging out all his secrets. Adding Sokolov's knowledge to his own. Who knows what wonders of natural philosophy Jindosh will reveal in future days. But it's time for you to come out once again. Time to play. We have need for your special talents. Poor guy, the like... doctors do for a trip to Dunwall because Ichabob Oil is next on the list. Make haste and make this one messy. Give the newspaper something to write about and give the people of the Empire fodder for their nightmares. 
Okay, Rampage continues. Wherever there are op uh, opponents of Empress Emily Caldwin, so follow the ghastly deeds of the Crown Killer. The first victims were citizens of Karnaka, most notably Carrie Brockburn, one of the earliest to so openly criticize the young Caldwin. Just a month after the passage of her Sharecropper Rights Act, Brockburn urged the Parliament in Gristol to hold a vote for no confidence. He never ceased to scrutinize the decrees from Dunwall Tower, attacking each with the same ferocity. After Brockburn's terrible death, several more fell in Karnaka, always old foals of the Caldwin family, including Janice Tynes, the former editor of the Karnaka Gazette. A week after her scathing editorial called Emily an empress in name only, Tynes was found dead in her office, missing several limbs that were never recovered. Then the murders spread to the other parts of the empire. Dozens have now been taken, the latest being Ichabod Boyle, a respected businessman from Dunwall who founded the Anti-Rationing Club to protest recent imperial decrees and distribution of whale oil. And then, Dunwall citizens expressed shock and fears that another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle. Boyle recently wrote an opinion piece harshly criticizing the Empress for what he called her slipshod style of governance and her willful neglect of duties. Authorities are convinced the crown killer is the culprit, given the gruesome details left at the crime scene. As Her Majesty's most outspoken adversaries fall one by one to the notorious assassin, we boldly ask, is it now the duty of the royal protector? Yeah, okay. I think we've seen... We've seen that similar mantra a few times. What the fuck? There she is. Oh. Hopefully she stays in there. I like the sounds of that. I'm sure that door will stop her. So we still don't have his key, but maybe it's in here? Hopefully it's inside. What's the uh, thing again? 704. Come on now. Here we go. This journal, no key. Oh, I might have just got a key as well. Counter serum notes. All right. This time it has to work. I'm certain the dose is right and I'll only have one chance. Grind all of the solid ingredients together, including the aluminum salts. Done. Add some egg whites. They should have some in the kitchen, but I'll have to be discreet. Done. Two weeks in my safe away from daylight should be enough for the serum to activate. Add half a syringe of tainted blood taken from an infested human corpse. Dr. Hypatia was in her right mind. She would probably object to this step, but since the Grand Guard put Adamider at lockdown, several men have died, killed by blood flies. They might as well serve the greater good. All the previous blood samples seem promising. I'll need to avoid being seen by the janitor. Heat the final mixture, inject as soon as possible. So we are up to this point. Uh, presumably it's been in the safe for two weeks. Now we need to get a syringe of tainted blood, presumably from, we could use the guard in that blood fly area, uh, the guy in the bed. And then we have to heat it and then inject. So I think, okay, we got the syringe. It wasn't a key that we picked up. Okay, take the syringe. So where is the syringe, though? Presumably, yeah, it's in here. Shit. Okay, we did get a key. Good, 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 good. It all happened so quickly. I finally understand it. 
There's oh, here's a burner. A part of Hypatia that she doesn't even know about. It's always there, riding along in her mind, takes over and forces her to use more of the original serum with some regularity. The Duke keeps her here and, if I'm right, sends her out on diabolical assignments. Hypatia is the one the newspapers are calling. Yeah. The crown killer. But it's not, I mean, she it's not her fault. And comes back. Bloody footprints. But there's a cure. A counter serum. I'll try to administer it once I get my notes from the safe in disease treatment. Uh, hello? Oh, Alexandria. I was just... No. Oh, no. It's you. Yes, Vasco. My love. You were found out. And now we have some experiments to conduct. Come. Oh no. I'll make you comfortable. Ah! No! Not good. Okay, obtain infected blood, so I have an idea of where we can do that. And then we come back here for the burner. Oh, we've got another diary entry as well. This is the month of nets. A patient arrived late at night complaining of grit in her eyes. The good doctor is resting finally, so I took the case. After careful observation, I determined that the cause was silver dust from the mines. To bring forth tearing from the eyes, I combined glycerin and pepper oil, which I planned to follow at once with a rinse. However, the burning sensation was apparently quite marked, and the patient was too distressed to let me attend further. However, the flow of tears was sufficient that I'd wager by morning her eyes were clear. I declared my idea for purging the eyes of grit to be a success. I could sell the formula. Just the thing to get dust and debris banished from the eyes. Vasco's formula for eyes and ears, that's what I'll call it. Fast and effective. All with Dr. Alexandria Hypatia's permission, of course. She knows best. Doesn't she, though? So I'm pretty sure this is going to take me right back. Oh, nope. There's one right here. Cool. Yeah, but necessary. Absolutely necessary. Wonder how I'm gonna get, like, how am I gonna use this on her? We're gonna have to sneak up, obviously. Yum, that looks good. I just got serious Bioshock vibes there. Okay, so now we need to use the syringe on the syringe on her. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> it's either just kill her or do all this stuff. It's always harder being awesome, you know. Probably smell me coming. Haven't showered in days. See, I was—I immediately thought of the bodies in here, but I guess it'll just grab any one that's close by. What's that? Is that like a larvae of uh, blood fly? Maybe. Pretty distinct markings. Oh, she actually does. That's funny. <laughs> Maybe she does have a heightened sense of smell. Okay, here we go. Oh, 